Welcome to Theater of the Mind Flayer, a D&D play podcast set in the homebrewed world of Jekyll. We've got two DMs for some reason, which can only mean twice the fun. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your time at Theater of the Mind Flayer. Michael, 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 Michael. Uh, there is a... Calm down, Jake. Oh, there, I can't calm down because there's something so exciting I want to tell you about. Quest chests from Bookworm. They're system agnostic modules in a box. They can be played with Pathfinder and, and D&D. Literally... Anyone can play this. They're immersive boxes that have these quests in them, the modules, and everything about them is designed to really soak you in the gameplay. Soak me in the gameplay? Well, how, soak you what, in the gameplay. what sort of. Uh, well, you could soak in one of the teas that come a with tea? it. Yeah, they have <laughs> teas that are with the adventure. You, they've got candles that you would light that would give you the scent that you would find in the tavern, things like that. There are coded messages, there's wax sealed envelopes that you open up, and there's also other stuff that's not included in the box. Like what? Uh, if you're a DM, thank you for asking. If you're a DM <laughs> and you're sick of doing Doing voices or sick of hearing so we don't have to hear you all the time you, you don't have to hear my voice you can hear can... Su- an actual character actor <laughs> do the voices but yeah custom soundtracks that you can download for use at a later time their kickstarter is beginning on june 6th that's next week that's uh, soon and yeah and if you back them early if you back them in the first 48 hours no matter what pledge level you'll get a commemorative coin so like it's that. audio it's visual it's scent based Sensual. Well, you know, we are in a <laughs> well, voice. You're saying candles and close. tea. <laughs> candles and tea, so taste. Let's run through the five senses. You can see stuff. Yes. You can hear the stuff. Yes. You can smell the stuff. Yes. You can taste the stuff. What's the last one? Ooh. Are those all the senses? Touch. Six. Touch. You can touch the coin. You can touch the coin. Yeah, and the coins are really You can touch cool. anything. You can touch anything with consent. <laughs> And we consent to these quest chest boxes. I like the coins. coins the coins are nice. really cool. Yeah. I also like, I couldn't open them, but those sealed letters. Mm. Love a good wax sealed letter. I'm curious what's inside. What does it say? I don't know. Find out. Thank you to the people of Bookworm Games. That would be uh, Michael and Austin. You guys are wonderful. Thanks for letting us take a look. Go to bookwormgames.com or questchest.info for more info. And uh, you don't want to miss out. Theater of the Mind Flip. Welcome to Theater of the Mind Flayer. I'm a little kinder baby boy that likes his milky, milky chocolate with toys in it. Uh, I'm Jacob Mation. I agree that. That's Caleb Daddle. Hello. <laughs> how you doing, Caleb? I'm good. How are you, Jake? Do you con- I'm good. Do you connect with any of those things? I connect with Kinder Buenos. Kinder Bueno. Oh, Bueno. Yeah. Bueno's a good chocolate. That's where Let's I go. Let's go around the horn. Uh, we're going to our favorite chocolate bars. Uh, Caleb said Kinder Bueno. No takeies. Oh, I don't know if that- No takey okay. Uh <laughs> It's because you said Kinder and a- Okay. Whatever. Danielle Butnellan. Oh, God. Controversial opinion. Uh, oh, better not be Bounty. Oh, I love Bounty. I don't really like chocolate bars. Oh, I'm not a super huge chocolate like, guy either. The closest I would get, again, controversial opinion, is the um, little little ones, the Turkish Delight chocolate. Not a chocolate. Not a real Cho- Turkish choc-coded, Delight. It's chocolate Turkish Delight. Tur- it's Turkish Delight. It's inside favorites or celebration. Yeah. yeah. Quality one of the treats. treats. Yeah. One of the yeah. Cadbury ones. One, yeah. of the, one of those. And I've never seen like a full size one. They yeah. probably do exist. They do. Yeah. I'd say that's as close as I get to liking a chocolate bar. Dale and Lisa Serafini. The... Cadbury milk chocolate bars, but not the shit they make here. The ones from the UK. Yeah, it's a lot better. It's so because yeah, they put wax in. The UK, in you guys are so in the Canadian. And oh, the, yeah, they put wax in the US gross. and the Canadian ones, but uh, in the UK, there's regulations against that. So, Michael Briganti. <laughs> I'll throw one for the Australians in the room, the Tim Tams. Motherfucking Tim Tams. Oh, okay. my God. So I mean, not that's a, a biscuit. It's not yeah, a biscuit. I call it a chocolate bar. That's that's bar. So, so far, like we've it. had don't like. <laughs> yeah. If I, Something not from this country. <laughs> not a chocolate not bar. Not a chocolate bar. Hercules <laughs> <laughs> Mace. I'm well. a sucker for Mr. Biggs. Okay, there we go. Don't know what that is. We yeah. finally Mr. Big is? No, it's Mr. Big. Sex in the City? Mr. Big. He's the one who sung. It's the yellow one. The yellow rapper. The one who wants to be with you. Is that Mr. Big? I don't know. Deep inside, I hope. No, I feel like that was Adrian. Mr. Big is from the Second City, but it's also a chocolate bar. It's also a chocolate bar. I'm a sucker for Mr. Big bar. I got a good Is that a Canadian bar? It is a Canadian bar. It's like an O. Henry, but like with wafer in it. Yeah, it's got like a wafer. Mr. Big. I'm afraid to Google Mr. Big, to be honest. No, it's like a wafer and it's got like caramel and. And it's like, it's like Luke Sykes. Like, yeah. uh, up until I was about 16, I loved cookies and cream Hershey's bars. Oh, and, okay. and now I'm going to go with a uh, solid Mars bar. 
Well, yeah, it's a good one because it's an actual chocolate bar, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was. I, I, was gonna be, I mean, I, my answer don't was. Don't hand it to me. No, I appreciate my answer was going to be on really chocolate like chips. They're really good. But chocolate I, chips are not a bar. They're no, chips. No, I know because I've been eating <laughs> the peanut butter pretzels with like a handful of chocolate chips. You know, if you bite the corner off a, of a Tim Tam, both ends. Yeah, and you just like a straw. Yes. Say my first rodeo with the Tim Tams here, baby. Why makes it? Why makes it not a chocolate bar? Does that have a wafer in it? My favorite thing to do is to get peanut butter. It's in a biscuit. Packet. It's a, yeah, it's a, but, it's a, it's a biscuit yeah. packet. My favorite thing to do is to get peanut butter and Nutella and swirl them together and put them in little cups and freeze them. And you got your own little. It's, it's not just a spread. Bar. It's, it's a not a chocolate made. bar. I'll agree. It's not a chocolate bar. Um, would you consider a penguin bar a chocolate bar? What yes. the fuck's a penguin bar? Yeah, a penguin it's, bar. It's, it's like bar. the British Tim Tam. It's like chocolate surrounding biscuits. If there's biscuit in it, it's not a chocolate bar. Yeah, done. Nice. Could I have well, hang on. No. <laughs> if it's got a Kit Kat, a chocolate Kit bar. Kit Kat is a chocolate bar. No, there's a biscuit wafer. In. That's not a biscuit. Yeah, that's a wafer. Bar. Yes, yeah, it is. But, but the it wafer is dirty, but not biscuit. They're, they're the same thing. biscuit yeah. as in cookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. there's one with a biscuit in it. What is it? Yeah, that's go the on, cookies and fucking on. cream one, probably. Is it Wonder Bar? Wunderbar. Is there a Wunderbar? Biscuit in there? <laughs> yeah, uh, so little Rice crispy things in it makes it a chocolate bar. That's not a biscuit. Mm. Yeah. What is it? That's, no, that's like, I don't know. I was just Oh, Wunderbar's got butterscotch in it. That's, that's like crumbly that's, butterscotch. That's, but yeah. by your logic, that's not a chocolate bar. It's butterscotch. <laughs> well, but it's surrounded by chocolate. <laughs> yeah. It's like <laughs> you just decided that so what, one filling is so not chocolate. Are we saying that the biscuit? Are we saying that chocolate that bars are only one, pure not just chocolate? Is, chocolate? is that is that the line the we're drawing in the sand right oh. now? No, no, no it's, if you had a digestive. Yeah, but do, do you know, understand what I'm saying? Is that like that's you decided the line that we're drawing in the sand right now? I don't want to have an argument bar. Yeah. about but butterscotch and chocolate. Purity of chocolate with you, Herc. Instead of just butterscotch, it's different fillings. But a biscuit, it's the it's the ratio. And butterscotch is butterscotch. It's the ratio. What ratio, Jalen? Of Ten conversations going on right now. Is All of them are about chocolate. Whereas a biscuit is an entire Sorry, category in Biscuits are in and usually they've got biscuits, but it also is a filling a because it's in case okay, of chocolate. Give us two seconds. <laughs> going to be mental for Caleb to edit because we have five conversations going it's okay, on. Caleb's just going to cut this. <laughs> Caleb and Caleb and Danielle, go go ahead. Caleb's trying to cr- clarify whether why butterscotch is not a se- separate ca- category, but biscuit is, and I'm saying because butterscotch is a filling that could go yeah. in a biscuit or a chocolate. So bar, I don't really like butterscotch. Or a wafer. But can't you eat it by itself? Butterscotch is off the well, table. It's like a flavor. Yeah, yeah, it's a so flavor. Biscuit isn't a flavor. Pudding or biscuit flavor. Exactly, exactly. Biscuit cake. flavored what? Biscuit cake. What's that? <laughs> what? It's a, it's a, it's a cake like, with biscuit. You know, biscuit it. is a text. Is okay. A, is a, <laughs> so it is a cake. <laughs> it is a cake. But okay. Well, I rest my case. <laughs> actually, actually, biscuits and cakes have been proven to be different things. <laughs> okay. There you go. That's how Jaffa cakes got around in import tax because well, they proved they were cakes and not biscuits. Mm. I feel like biscuits need to be also, crunchy too. All y'all not Canadians are saying biscuit. And I'm just thinking of a fucking like Southern style fucking. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's, it's like, like cookie. I, I cookie. know it's cookie. not. Cookie. I, I'm fully aware what you guys are cookie saying. Cookie for everyone else. My stupid brains. Mm. See, I wouldn't call a Tim Tam a cookie. No, you no, call no, it you because it's a biscuit. It's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> but we have Tim Tams here. Do you? Yeah, they're yeah. in the Australian the section. Stuff. Motherfucking no, it's in the regular. Yeah. No, they're in the biscuit section. They are. Yeah. yeah. Ah, win. Supermarkets. <laughs> <laughs> Supermarkets. Have you got a trivia treat, Caleb? Yeah. And it For some reason, I want to keep arguing, but I don't have any good points. But I feel like there's one in the back of my head somewhere. <laughs> just keep throwing them out so there. I don't really want to move on, but oh I also have nothing God. to say. If we so. just keep arguing eventually. <laughs> yeah. well, okay, Caleb, what would you call a deep fried curly whirly bar? Fucking a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> that would be horrible. Is it, is it still... A but a curly, a curly whirly is a chocolate bar. Yes. And if you deep fried it, it's, a, I guess, a deep fried chocolate bar. Yeah, right? when you like, deep fry something, it all comes to tempura. Maybe it's tempura rather than chocolate bar. Which no. Tempura is a very specific kind of fry. Mm. There you go. Yeah, okay. they don't usually right. use that batter. So when you deep fry something, it doesn't change what it is. It just no, adds guess, the deep uh, fry yeah. quality. Yeah. Yeah. The condition of deep fried, yeah. yeah. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can agree on that. We can all agree on just that. like how you pickle something, right? Like, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. lies. Cucumbers what? become pickles. <laughs> Yes, but you can still yeah. have but a pickle. other pickled vegetables. Yeah. Yes, but a cucumber changes when you pickle it to a pickle. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's not just a pickled well, cucumber. Yeah, it's because it's, it's became just like the synonymous word. Like it's Band-Aid. Like, yeah, like Band-Aid. Where technically, yes, it is a pickled cucumber. But people just yeah, call them but pickles. pickles aren't the brand. Whereas a band aid is a brand. Yeah, but it's, it's but a pickle's not a brand. Imagine pickle brand. Hey, Caleb, what's <laughs> pickle trivia pickles. treat this week? Pickles. Welcome, pickles. This week's episode of pickles. trivia treats. <laughs> um, so mm. crunchy. Mm. This is tasty. What is the name of the beholder who is the crime lord of the city Skullport, located in the Undermountain beneath Waterdeep? I know this. Bees. 
Jeffrey spelled with a J. That is incorrect. Damn. Would you like to make another guess? Geoffrey with a G E O. Yeah, 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 that one. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, is it Xanathar? It is yeah. Xanathar. Yes. Ooh, come Jesus. on, people. Funny guesses. It's comedy Sorry. improv. I wanna... Sorry. I just get so scared that Herc's going to take it away. You can't throw it away if you know it. You know, I, Herc I... pushed the mic aw- microwave as if he were disgusted with how easy that <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, see, like one of the most famous kind of supplementary books doesn't have But like I wanted to do one that like, on that like maybe you could all maybe guess because the last few of the last sessions has just been waiting for Herc to answer. So I thought maybe we'd throw oh, in some other ones. I thought you, you know? were intent on tripping well, everyone up. I have. I, Thank I, you. I, I want everyone to have fun. I appreciated What's the his last Patronizing. <laughs> his last name. Yeah. Uh, Just guide to everything. Yeah. <laughs> you got that. That took me half second. Technically, nice. it, is, it is the Xanathar. Oh. It is the Xanathar. Yeah, so I only get half There's points. a ding for Caleb. <laughs> You say he's going to look I mean, that up. He's I, mean, gonna, I, mean, I mean, it's it's the sort of thing where people call him Xanathar, but he is also referred to as the Xanathar. Right. Ah. Okay. So he he was born, and he, which we all know how beholders are born. If we you've been listening, yeah. Yeah. Because, don't they uh, imagine the themselves? Just dreamed of him. Yeah, into existence, and then he dreamed the into his name at the uh, at the time, or did that become a moniker well, I, after? Ooh, do they so name themselves if they get just randomly born into the world from nobody? They well, sometimes, yeah. Or do well, they have to name people, themselves people after their dream? Them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so is there a Xanathar, Xanathar senior? Oh, Xanathar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am right. Maybe Our Xanathar junior. was like some peasant that dreamed of him, and so he's just like named after the Xanathar. Well, often it is other, other aberrations that dream other aberrations into existence, and then so they, my only like I, I could do some more research, and I will correct no, you uh, this, later on. But the fact that I'm not the fact that the the, 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 <laughs> the, book. the book is called Xanathar's Guide, which is official D and D content. So Xanathar has been around for a while. Yeah. Please. So I don't know. I'm gonna say I I, it's not a hill that I'm dying on. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, let's take that point away from Dale and just in case. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> until we get a, <laughs> until we get a ruling on that. Anyway, that's been this week's episode of Trivia Treats. I like pickles. How <laughs> crunchy! Mm-hmm. It's a we're going to play a very easy game. This is called uh, Song Guess Doo Doo. Similar to the game that we played uh, not too long ago where we sing a couple of lyrics to a song and you have to guess it. This time, all you can say is doo doo and you have to try and get people to guess. How many doo doos can as you do? As many doo doos as you want. You oh, keep doo dooing until great. people pick you up on your doo doo. Um, again, obviously, our more musically inclined are going to have a little bit more of a fun time with this, those that aren't musically inclined. So, doo doo doo, doo 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 is all you can kind of do. So you can't do you can't do like uh can you sing the doos? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you want to sing okay. do, 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 do. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Oh, that is copyright. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and pa- uh what is it? Pa- um Mildred and Patty Hubble or something copyrighted that? Uh it's, it's not a thing anymore. Not anymore. No. There you go. Do we have any like theme or anything to restrict our Songs? song choices? <laughs> uh Just I mean like any? You, you want to do song, you know, it'd be good if people could guess them. So you don't want to do like an underground. Uh, yeah, Caleb's going to do his own song. No, <laughs> no he's going to do when you're a jet, you're a jet all the way. <laughs> <laughs> the only and song I he knows. ruined it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> song I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only song I know. <laughs> I used to know loads of songs and then I learned that one. I could, and I could just replace every other song in my brain. Do She Won't Lick My Toes as a, as a, as a sample for the Biltmore gig. Okay. Do 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 do. Okay, I don't think I want to go to the gig anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sing the I sing the words. It's better. When I, it's better when I sing the words. Uh, <laughs> Caleb, do you want to start us off with a oh, an actual song? Fuck. Do 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 do. Do 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 Oh, I will survive. I can't fucking remember. I've spent so many nights. I'm hired in the wrong I don't know why that came to my head first. That's the first drag. That's the first drag performance I ever saw when I was five. Yeah, my mom took me to a drag show. Moving around the horn to Danielle Butler. All right, all right, all right. Hey, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blah, 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 No, wait, was that it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> She's got one point now, she thinks she knows everything. <laughs> one point pending. <laughs> no, you big dumb idiot. It's what happened to know you big dumb idiot? because there's another song that's familiar that was going through my head, but yeah, you it doesn't up. matter. Uh, but you can redeem yourself. Do, 
do, do, do. <laughs> it's not the song gone. you think it is. Do 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 do. Uh, but I won't feel blue because I'm. Ah, it's an Apple song. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. Super Trooper. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks, Herc. <laughs> Do 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 piano man do 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 the piano man by Billy Joel yeah the piano man nice Billy Joel Billy Joel some piano man don't try me on my Billy Joel oh fuck I should have thought of a song this whole time too busy guessing that's why Luke's been very very quiet yep. Don't guess it. Just let it go. I had it. The tip of my brain. Do 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 do. Banjo solo. Yeah. Do 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 do. Oh, is it Mumford and Sons? No, it's not. It's not Little Lion Man. Yep. Yeah, Little Lion Man. There you go. Little Lion Man by Mumford and Sons. It's not. I was thinking about doing the camp. Like they won't know that one. Nice. Luke Sykes. Do do. Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, next one. <laughs> next one. You can't say the lyrics. <laughs> do 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 yeah. do 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 uh, Backstreet Boys. Do. Backstreet Boys. Back. Yeah. Back. I expected I'm too sexy from you. Oh, I was thinking that. I was also thinking uh, Enrique Iglesias. Oh, nice. Do 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 but I know, no, I know it's the. Ice, 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 what is it's called? Ice Ice Baby. Yeah. Ice yeah. Ice Baby. Oh, there ice we go. Baby. Yeah, I said it. I was like, no, I just can't <laughs> remember the title of the song. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, Vanilla Ice. But I don't know. <laughs> well, do 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 do. Spe- yeah, speaking of do 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 Last time on Theater of the Mind Player. Last time on Theater of the Mind Player. You all turned into a killer whale on you. We love you, Caleb. Go to the doctor. You guys sound so Irish. I don't sound like that, do I? No, you really don't. There goes our 15% listener base in Ireland. Exactly. I was going to say the O'Grady's in my family will disinherit me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like get the fuck out. I mean, that's how. Was that our segue? That's our segue. I'm sorry, Kayla. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit. Make yeah. it work. Theater of the mind flip. In our last session, Sephiroth took the form of a giant eagle, swooping down and rescuing the unconscious Edorath, who was making his death saves. The ship took a lot of damage, however, and the captain Anorius made the decision to surrender, which. Some of you didn't quite uh, get the message. We didn't hear him. Didn't hear him. Apparently, you'll have to listen back and see Cannons if that was true or loud. not. In the meantime, Agnar, you healed up Edorath, who is now on his fourth level of exhaustion. But also, as we've seen, gaining some new abilities with that new level of exhaustion. So you continue to fire cannonballs at the Severian fleet, while Azeroth's wild magic sparked up again and actually brought him back to the age that he had previously been. In fact, actually three years older, if, if my maths is correct. As the weather began to turn, you saw a massive bolt of lightning hit the sea. Holy moly, it's big. Sinking, it seems, the ocean itself. <laughs> <laughs> and also seemingly calling to Edorath. He seemed to really want to go towards this sinking of the ocean and so this ship turned as Azeroth polymorphed Agnar into a giant eagle climbed onto her back and began flying out to the fleet which is where we're going to take our session off today 
as the the two uh, the Severian longship heads towards this dip in the ocean that seems to be swirling ever so slightly uh, as your ship heads directly towards the center point as Agnar flies over the top with uh, Azareth on her back heading towards the uh, the large chode like ship that seems to be heading around in the direction that you were heading um, you would notice at the top of the round that the water in this slight swirling whirlpool begins to bubble Hundreds and thousands of bubbles begin to raise from the kind of center outwards. A little bit of steam starts to come from the top there. <laughs> Ooh. Caleb just <laughs> gesturing the just steam. He's, 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 my, he's my steam Jacuzzi. boy. Jacuzzi. Edorath. At the top of the round, the captain is wrenching at the wheel trying to stop you from steering where you're steering. What would you like to do? It's bubbling and... It appears to be bubbling. Uh, the lightning struck and the ocean dipped into almost like a shallow bowl. It started to swirl, and as it swirled, the uh, after six or six or twelve seconds, started to bubble. Uh, bubbles start to raise from somewhere in the depths. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we are. Hang on, hang on. Give me one second. Okay, yeah. can you come here for a second? Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. <laughs> You know, I'm trying to do something really important here, mm. and I find it really dis- it's just really distracting when you do things that take away from it, like waving your hands, or like if you were rolling dice while I was trying to talk, I'd be pretty right. pissed yeah, off, yeah, that yeah, sort yeah. of thing. So yeah, that just, would take away from it the would, gravitas yeah. of the exactly, moment. Exactly, yeah. So if you could just keep it yeah, yeah, yourself, yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. But what about motions that, that don't take away, but add? Do one, one, do one for me right now. Well, I need a description, so I can I know what to... Um, uh, the young Irish man's gonna get smacked over the back of the head if he does. He is <laughs> His spirit fingers. <laughs> That's how I smacked him. Okay? Uh, this does uh, not work on a on a podcast. No, I feel like that was an angle piano man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excellent. Now keep doing it. Uh, no, I don't want to know. And I'll give audio visual descriptions. <laughs> yes, for the yeah. Thank you. Uh, Yes, uh, the water is bubbling, starting to swell. What would you like to do? Caleb is now breathing slowly uh, as if he's deep underwater. The, the Something sw- like a sneaky snake. <laughs> it's really fucking distracting. The swirl <laughs> of the whirlpool seems to be heading uh, in a counterclockwise direction, like heading around the front there. Like if you were to hit it, you would be kind of tipped to the right in the same direction that the uh, big boy ship's going. But that big boy ship seems to be getting tugged almost in and down. Edorath, what would you like to do? Okay. I'm going to hold course till we are just a little bit closer. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to let go of the wheels so that we... Nice! Excellent. As you uh, dip just, down just towards... Just a little bit more. Just yeah, as you hit the edge of this whirlpool, uh, the, the, the front of the ship is tugged to the right. As it tugs to the right, uh, it would, yeah, you'd, you'd feel it tug and swing you. Uh, as soon as it swings you around, the whole ship turns 90 degrees. Safira, you now have a shot Amazing! At, my held action. at either the long boy or the, or the thick boy. Up I to you. Remember, you already rolled for it. You already rolled. Who are you hitting, long boy or thick boy? I'm aiming for the, the hat. The, the hat, yeah. Or the needle. It's 8, yeah? 8d10? 8d10, yes, please. 54 points of damage. Ooh. 54 points of damage to the uh, excellent. Did I hit his hat? Uh, I make go- a perception check. I got a 10. No, 16. Go ahead and roll a <laughs> D100 for me, Sephiroth. You're looking for something 95 and above. Oh, no. 55. 55, oh, yeah. Right. Now <laughs> strikes the ship and <laughs> tears through uh, as they are kind of swung in a little bit further. Uh, excellent. Uh, Edorath, as the ship swings around, the captain kind of nods to you and kind of holds the wheel as you hit the current and you start to ride with it. You get a boost of spoid there. Uh, that was 52. Uh, how, 54? 56. Sorry? How, many, how much damage? 50. 54. 54. Beautiful. Uh, excellent. Okay. Ooh. Excellent. Uh, that is going to bring us down to Edareth. After you is going to be Azareth. Azareth, you are in the wings of Agnar. You would watch as the enemy ship is kind of curved back in towards it. This one spun a little bit that way. So how far are we from the two ships? Uh, the the Chode ship has now been kind of swung in towards you. I would say you're about... You moved uh, 160, so you're about 100 or so feet. You're, you're about 160 feet, and you're about 100 feet away now. As you look down at it, oh, you would see not. an incredibly, almost 
stout looking individual uh, with the tricord hat uh, standing next to them, a more lean uh, and taller individual at his side, both of them wearing what looked to be full uh, Severian Legion um, garb, and you would catch the name on the ship as the Salty Barnacle. The Salty Barnacle. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a good condom brand. <laughs> oh, does it? Oh, wow. <laughs> no. There's nothing Jesus. like that granulated feel. <laughs> oh, God. Once it's in there, it's stuck. Granulated. <laughs> oh, no. And what sort of angle are we on? Are we fi- in front of it? Or Agnar is swinging sword? you like, towards them. Agnar is heading straight for that ship in particular is what you decided. It's 100 feet in front and below kind of thing. Yeah, y'all, so y'all can figure out the hypotenuse. <laughs> it's fine. It's 100 okay. feet. Uh, I can barely add my dice together. Don't make me do that. Um, I'm going to cast, use uh, a charge of my lightning wand. And I'm yeah. going to try and like aim it straight down the middle so the whole, so like it'll essentially just like strike across the top of the ship. Um, and anything that is made or flammable will be on set on fire. Okay. Try and maybe get like the sail like as well. Like the excellent mast. Yeah, excellent. Uh go ahead and make a real quick uh just an arcana check, just your uh, straight roll with your charisma modifier for me. Dirty twenty. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh you unleash your lightning bolt. Uh the ship doesn't get to make a save, and as you burst your uh, lightning bolt through it and kind of carve up ever so slightly. You strike the side of the mast, you strike up some of the mast there. Uh, it goes across near the helm and they kind of duck to the side as it <laughs> carves through. Go ahead and roll your damage for me. 29. 29 points of damage. Nice. As it <laughs> carves through, you watch as some of the deck starts to burn. Uh, you watch as the uh, the sail, uh, the right-hand side of the sail there starts to burn. Uh, you can see them ducking out the way and immediately trying to uh, deal with what's happened there. Is there anything else you wish to do? Nope. That is my action. I'm not going to move. And no bonus action, so that is it. I'll just sort of Stad fast and hold on tight to Excellent. Agnar. Excellent. That brings us down to Sephiroth. Uh, Having just fired off your cannon. Yeah, because um, that was my held action. So is the cannon in front of me loaded again or no? It hasn't No, been you've literally just fired it off. Okay. Yeah. Would my cannon be loaded? Yours is loaded. Milsa loads yours at the start of you the went, turn. You I'm went up upstairs. upstairs. Yeah, yeah so if I go over, can I try and fire... Uh, the cannon. Yeah, you can run over to buy a uh, forces run over cannon. To yeah, forces absolutely. Cannon and try and, and shoot that one off at yeah. the same ship. Plus six. No, that's a thirteen. Thirteen misses. As it fires across, you watch as it kind of lands in the the dip in the ocean there, and the ocean is dipped to the point now where you can't quite see down as your ship kind of lists uh, ever so slightly on the very top outer edge of this forming bubbling whirlpool. Okay. That's excellent. That's all I can do. That'll bring us down to Agnor. Our plan was to hit the ship, and then I'm going to, based on on Azareth's movements, I'm just going to be steered essentially. Let him. That was our agreement. He's going to steer me. So okay. So what are you going to do? You're going to move direction. straight ahead. <laughs> do I control Agnor? Yeah. I guess I would have. I would steer you uh, probably to try and get on the right side of the chunky ship. Um, the chunky ship is now at the edge of the whirlpool. Yeah, it was going out and around. It's been caught in the whirlpool. It's been kind of pulled back around. Yeah, yeah. so I'll cool. sort of uh, yeah, we... try and steer her to the right of it. Excellent. Yeah, go ahead and uh, you move around. Uh, your movement speed is 160 feet. You can absolutely get essentially over the top of it on the right-hand side there as you come across. You. Okay. You guys look out. Uh, it is bucketing down with rain. At this point, you would have a hard time looking back and seeing your original ship. Uh, with the amount of rain that's kind of cascading down. And Agnar, you're, you're beating those wings as hard as you can in order to kind of get the lift that you need. Um, that brings us down to uh, Force. What would you like to do is you run out, you see Edorath uh, steering the ship into the whirlpool and then letting go, and the ship spins back in the direction you wanted to go with a big surge of speed. Oh, I can see why I didn't captain for very long. Uh, oh. Other captain, what do you want us to do? Uh, I didn't hear you earlier. What'd you say? Yeah, bullshit. What I want you to do... <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Put your back into something useful. We've got the helm here. Make sure that either the cannons are ready to pop off or we're ready to flee and hide. Possibly help out with the sails. I don't know. Use your imagination. Oh, so now you want us to fire the cannons. Gotcha. Piss it. How far away are the boats? The other boats? Yeah. 
Uh, they would be around, th- at this point, uh, around 300 feet. 300 to 400 feet. Piss it. Azurus. Azurus. Fucking names. <laughs> <laughs> really, this side of the table. Just I've been doing that all night. I've been like, Azurus. <laughs> this, this, this is just this part of the table here. Azurus, we're going in. Hold. Oh, fuck. Uh, I go back downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go back downstairs. I'm like, oh, you might want to start holding on to something. Um, and then, is there a loaded cannon oh, anywhere nearby? Grace. Nope. <laughs> Great. Uh, I will um, cast... Oh, is this what I want? Uh, I will cast Warding Bond on Sephira and slam a platinum ring on her finger. Excellent. <clears throat> Gosh, so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say you'll do anything else? Just uh, slam a ring on her finger. Don't get uh, too, okay. too lost. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, as he slams that ring on your finger, you feel the other ring on your finger kind of tighten. Except I'm not wearing it on my finger. You feel it tighten. Uh, around me. Around your neck. <laughs> Metaphor <laughs> presses into your... Metaphorically tighten. Yeah. Yeah. All right, the Frodo. Style, so. Yeah, yeah. Feel the... Feel Excellent. It. It's going to bring us down to Fibbers. What would you like to do? Fibbers will look at the captain and go, I want madness be this. I don't know. This Why are we seems... sailing right into that? We're not. We're turning away. It looks like we're going straight for it. No, we just turned. <laughs> In the last three seconds. Yeah, like at the top of the round, he turned <laughs> away. Arr, this has been happening all at once simultaneously as D&D combat does be happening. <laughs> turning! <laughs> Fibbers, come here for a second. I want to speak. Arr, <laughs> Listen, what be it, Fibbers. Captain? Fibbers. We're working with people oh, here. That, we're working with people here that we don't really work with quite often. You've got to you've got to cut them a bit of slack right, if they're okay, if Captain. they're going for something tricksy, then we go for it, right? All right, Captain. I'll go be back down to the cannons and no, I mean you do whatever you feel. I'll be loading them. They're not being so hot in the cannons now. They're not being so hot in the cannons now. All right, sailor talk, Captain. You know, <laughs> I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> well, can you go down there and perhaps help them be so hot in the cannons? All right, Captain. I. Fibbers will will run back down then to the cannon and Excellent. we'll load one up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it'll take you moving in action to get all the way down there, so you won't quite get a chance gotcha. to load one up because um, you were. Oh no, you were with bias uh, force. So yeah, you, yeah, 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 you can okay. run and load one up. Absolutely, uh, Mills is going to load one up as well. Uh, as you load one up, you look out through the porthole there. As you look out through the porthole, we're going to zoom out over the top of the enormous whirlpool. The first thing you'd see is a glow. Oh. A light kind of purple glow. And as the light purple glow builds, an enormous head comes out from the ocean there. It's in there. A huge, gnarled beak of sorts that seems to have... Uh, rocky stump-like uh, protrusions on its head as this enormous, enormous turtle head that seems to be big enough to swallow a couple of your ship's hull starts to lift its head out of there. As this enormous dragon turtle <laughs> lifts itself out of the ocean, <laughs> it lifts itself up. You can see it. Uh, it's really only head and chest out at this point. Uh it looks like it could almost be the size of Bokt if you were to judge how big it was underwater. With its enormous head, it turns for a brief moment towards your ship and then it swings its head around and you are going to watch as the ocean boils around it. It unleashes a steam breath at the long ship there. Uh, as it bursts out with its steam breath, 5, 10, 15, 20... Can I get uh, three of you to roll 5d8 for me? As it... <laughs> and this cone of steam breath. I'm going five for 15 d8, d8 please. All right, I got five. Hell. Let's do it for five. Uh, six, 11, uh, 17. Damn, I rolled good. Uh, five. Mediocre. Um, mm-hmm. 27 from me. 27, excellent. 22 from me. 27 plus 22. 30. So Damn! On top, excellent. Uh, I believe that brings it to seventy-nine points of damage. As this steam breath comes out, you watch as it blasts across the uh, the bow of the ship that is heading straight in towards the center. Their ship immediately starts to turn 
with the uh, the current opposite to what you're doing, kind of the, the opposite direction. Uh, but as they turn, the steam breath blasts across. You watch as their sails are torn away. You watch as the front few people on the deck are almost stripped of their skin from the heat of this thing. Uh, and the whole ship lists over to the side uh, and it starts to spiral in towards the... Uh, the ship is not destroyed just yet, but the ship starts to kind of spin its way in towards the dragon turtle. Uh, that is going to be its action as it <laughs> makes an enormous I'll put an effect on that or something don't worry <laughs> it'll sound face, real scary the face, the real Godzilla, real wait, 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 wait. Let's, do, let's do another one <laughs> there it is <laughs> Uh, as it kind of spins around the ocean bubbling around it uh, we come down to Edorath what would you like to do? I'm going to take that as my cue. Is it dis- the water? It's displacing is going into it. None of it's going out. It seems to be all coming in towards this creature as just its head and neck are out. Uh, and as it lifts its head and neck out and it blows steam, you you would notice that the other Severian ships off in the distance, you would hear the ringing of dozens and dozens and dozens of bells. And that is our cue to leave. <laughs> What would you like to do? I'm going to spin the wheel and hightail it out of there. Okay, I need a strength, an athletics check from you uh, with advantage because the captain is helping, but you are hitting the side of this whirlpool Neutral. and now you need to try and hold so that you don't get pulled in and around the corner. 15. A 15. With a 15, you get to the edge of the whirlpool and you're kind of, you feel the tug pulling you back down and around. Uh, you're holding, but you gather you might need a little bit of oomph in some way to push you guys out of this whirlpool sensation. Banana McGlear has thrown you a lifeline, but it is not a completely, uh, it is a completely neutral lifeline at this point, as far as you're concerned. Uh, Excellent. With a legendary action, you watch as this enormous claw comes out over the top of the long ship. Uh, and as it slams down, uh, that ship taking uh, 18 points of slashing damage. It takes a chunk out of the side and the ship starts to split in two. You gather that you may need to get the fuck out of here. That is going to bring us down to our good friend, Azareth. What would you like to do? Uh, the two of you would have seen this glow in the center and this enormous creature lift itself up. It's almost to the point where if it lifted itself up, it could easily just kind of it, it look like push its eye up against you or just snap you out of the us. air. Oh, one. shit. It's, it, it is. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. Enormous. Oh, so cool. wow, that is so cool. <laughs> Horrifying. <laughs> and so terrifying. Uh, right. Um, Someone's got a god not to mess with. I'm going to sort of look down at all that shit happening. Why and then beat up your god? Um, <laughs> Azrath's just going to say to Agnar, what say you? We don't let them get away, huh? And he'll lift his hand up and sort of catch uh, some rainwater, and he'll, like, jut his hands down by the side of the ship and uh, I'm going to cast Tidal Wave to try and push the uh, Chode ship into the turtle. Excellent. As your wave surges up behind it, uh, what needs to be done? A D... Uh, I can't remember Tidal Wave. It's a dexterity of 16, 30 feet long, Mm -hmm. 10 feet wide, 10 feet tall, and 48. 48, and what's the what, what are the other conditions? There's knock prone, there's all this other stuff there, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, bludgeoning damage and is knocked prone Anything on a successful save. A creature takes half as much or knock prone, no. The water spread across the ground, all directions. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to roll a d100 on the board. Uh, I'm going to say uh, at this point in this weather, in this part of the country, in this, you know... Located entirely. Located entirely in this maelstrom. Uh... I'm going to say... Can I see it? On the board. No. We're dropping it on the board here. I'm going to say anything under a 55. Yours is a dice box. And yeah. this ship this ship is... Oh, dice Tower oh, presented dice by... Diabolical Dungeon. 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 Oh. That is a nine. That's good, right? You watch as your enormous wave hits the side of the uh, Severian Legion ship. Uh, you manage to tip it further into the center there and not only tip it, it tips too far and starts to list and you watch as it begins to capsize as it moves in towards the dragon turtle. There is screaming. Uh, there are people jumping overboard. Uh, <laughs> that Damn enough? it, I wanted to hit his hat. Is that enough water to like <laughs> even us out maybe? Give us a... 
What do you mean? Because like if there's more water Why heading in, maybe it's just no, it's just up this end. Oh, it's yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah it doesn't come all the way through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's a big maelstrom. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to sort of steer steer the reins out away. From like the most direct way away from the dragon excellent, turtle. Excellent, excellent. At the end of your turn, uh, as a legendary action, you're gonna watch as the uh, the dragon turtle starts to swim towards the capsized ship, just head above the water, and it opens its enormous maw. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> That is going to bring us down to uh, Sephira. Oh you can God. all see this when you're looking at the gunner's ports. You're just like, uh. um. So both the other ships are capsized, yeah? One of them looks to be split in twain, almost, and the other is, is capsized, about to be. but it's about What's to be. Chomped? Both. Um. Oh, down and side. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to... Fire uh, what? Shoot a cannon. Shoot a cannon. I don't want to hit the dragon turtle. <laughs> it's helping us. I don't want to attract its attention. Um, I'm not going to fire a cannon right now. Okay. Um, I will. I will. Um, I will hold my action mm. to fire. Uh, can I hold my action to fire a cannon if it looks like the long ship is actually able to still pursue us? Yeah. Okay. I will hold my action to fire the cannon if that ship tries to pursue us. Okay. Excellent. 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 Uh, <laughs> as a final legendary action. No. Um, oh, this would be a mythic action, actually. Mythic. Oh, oh no, we can do... No, yeah, claw, tail, That's new. mythic action. Uh, mythic actions uh, were introduced in Mythic Odyssey of Theros, where you can... It's even cooler boss monsters, and when you bring them down to zero hit points, they get a whole bunch of more hit points. Phase two, boss oh, battle. Phase two. As a mythic action, Wait. you're going to watch, and what you, Agnar, and you, Azareth, see is essentially... Pinocchio being swallowed by the whale, but it is an entire warship being taken into the mouth of the dragon turtle. This purple glow as it... And as it slams shut, there is a... Like a wallop of energy with that hit. Sorry, puppy boy. Uh, As it hits, there's actually a wave of water that pushes out, uh, and you watch as it kind of sinks its face down, almost uh, alligator style, crocodile style, um, and it begins to turn back in towards the maelstrom. Like, it's moving with the current, like it's swimming with the current. Uh, it is the current. Uh, that is going to be... <laughs> it is the current? <laughs> it is the current. I'm the one who currents. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to bring us down to our good friend, Agnar, with Azareth driving. Just fly in the direction. Take yeah. us home. <laughs> so as you turn and fly, with your movement speed, you will get pretty much right over the top of, like, the maelstrom to get back to the ship. Uh, and the dragon turtle's essentially where you just were. And as it kind of chomps, it swings its enormous head back around, and you're kind of moving kind of parallel to uh-huh. it. It's it's maybe... How high in the air are you? Uh, as it would, We probably would have been trying to fly to the ship out of range of the cannons, I guess. So, however... So if you're 60 or so feet in the 60, air... 50. Like... It's 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 head now that it's back under is still a good twenty or thirty feet above the water, and if it lifts its head back out, it'll just be at your level there. All right, well, then we're keeping a, a, bit, a berth from wide it. berth. <laughs> Excellent. You're swinging. Are we if we're if we're going to kind of are we going to like intercept? Yeah, you could head out the... and try and intercept, but you can see your ship has moved to the edge of the whirlpool, and now it's at the point where it's looks like it's almost going to come back around and get caught. And if it comes back around and gets caught, it's going to pretty much hit the dragon turtle. If it swings okay. back around there. Um, You're in charge of the direction. I guess I would sort of direct us to go towards the ship. Okay, yeah, you head towards the ship. Beautiful. No problem. Yeah, you're halfway there. Maybe trying to get a little higher. <laughs> whoa, whoa, living on a prayer. As you get a little bit higher, um, uh, you would see uh, Edorath the Triton kind of pulling himself up from being knocked down and he runs across to the top there, gives you a nod and he jumps over the side and once again hooks his arm around, places his arm down towards the water and just you feel a current in the ship start to try to push you on and the ship starts to inch forward. Uh, That is going to bring us down to uh, our two under deck friends uh, Force and Force and Fibbers. Force and Pippers, Force and Hey, looks like we might be clear. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, Fibbers? Look at that thing! It seems to be turning around with the current, if you look very closely. Fibbers, could you come here for a second? I, I want to speak to you. That's fine, never mind. Okay. <laughs> You're my senior, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, it is beautiful. Uh, and Bai is then going to bounce, force is going to bounce upstairs. <laughs> Uh, And as he runs upstairs, is a turtle turning towards the boat? Like, can I see its eyes sort of turning towards me? The the, the turtle is heading, um, if you look at on the map here, your ship is heading out. The turtle came out and is now swinging back around this way with the current and seems to be moving back around. Uh, Then as I'm running up to the, up, up the stairs and seeing this turtle sort of turning towards me. Yeah. If you'll let me. I'm going to jab myself with the butt of the, the horn on the hammer into my foot and then hellish rebuke myself to kind of like light myself up with some paladin uh, gold light. Yeah, go ahead and take a d4 of damage. <laughs> cool. And then roll a dexterity <laughs> saving throw. And uh, y'all were blaming me and for take doing yeah. Yeah. I took two damage. <laughs> two points I'm very of... Ready. Yep, two points of damage. And then I need a dex saving throw uh, against your own DC. Uh, compelled duel. Oh my god. Well, that's 14. 13. 13, so you fail, I believe, your own spell save DC. Maybe. And then you need to do 3d10 of fire damage to yourself. So your spell DC oh, is... Dex 15. Da, 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 um, dex 15 is a fail, so yeah, so I need you to do 3d10. Yeah. Shoo, boom, boom, 3d10. Uh, oh, sorry, 2d10? Uh, what level are you... No, yeah. I had to cast it at second level. Yeah, okay. Uh, 16, so 20 damage to myself. 20 damage plus 2, so 22 damage 22 to myself. 22 damage to myself. As you jam the horn in, uh, what does your hellish rebuke look like? Uh, these like case? circular spirals of gold light just whoosh, outside of me and then come back in as if like s- like spinning scissor discs <laughs> cut into me. Uh, and then I just bellow out into the void it's like uh, towards the turtles like, What is your name? <laughs> Beautiful creature! You hear. <laughs> but I yell that in Aquan. You hear. And its nostrils kind of burst out a bunch of steam, and it looks like it's swinging around towards you. <laughs> I, I was wrong, I'll admit it. <laughs> I'll admit when I'm wrong, old Fibbers McGee. <laughs> with these new people. I don't know, but I think we're all going to die today. <laughs> Uh, excellent. Great stuff, Force. That brings us down to uh, Fibbers. Did you have anything you wanted to do at this point? Uh, Fibbers is... You Fibbers counter, is... You haven't got a counter spell in there? Yeah, no. Fibbers is just going to... It, it is just going to come back up on deck to, to see what the fuck's going on. But he, he's not going to load up another cannonball. He's just... Yeah. Yeah, as you come back on deck, you see Edorath behind the wheel. Aureus there helping. Um, you see your uh, Triton friend Elric uh, off the back there, uh, casting down into the water as the ship surges a little bit further. Okay, that's going to bring us around to the dragon turtle's turn. The dragon turtle is going to swing around. Yes. I almost got us out. I almost got us out. As it rides the current around, uh, it is going to, as you aim the cannon at the longship, it is just going to come around uh, and rather than actually bite the the longship, you watch as it just smashes through. Uh, as it splits across its nose, you watch as people kind of jump overboard. Some of them land on its head and you see them hanging Shit. on as it's swimming around. As they're hanging on, some of them hit the water and as they hit the water, there's this awful sizzling sound oh. as they as they boil as their ship is destroyed. People hanging on for dear life onto the dragon turtle. Um, you would see it kind of its back breach ever so slightly and you would see what looked to be wrecks of ships littered along just the upper side of its uh, of its kind of spiky shell like ships have been caught in it. Uh, there's debris jammed in it and as it kind of lifts itself out onto the ocean they, it almost eclipses the view that you have of Bokht and the uh, other Severian ships who from what you can tell are moving away from this area um, not away from Bok but away from this area uh, that is its turn as it swings around towards you Bias a uh, fucking force uh, you are going to see it lift its head out and there's a glow of purple energy there and there's an inhale <sighs> We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, You're Edera. the only one that speaks actually. What would you like to do? 
You fucker. <laughs> you I didn't challenge it. I just wanted to know his you name. You called out <laughs> to it. You lit yourself on fire. I almost got us out of here. You called out to I it. almost got us out of here. One of you fuckers <laughs> talked to your god. Fucking I did talk to my god. And this is this. where it got us. Got us out, but now we're back in. Everyone hot to the starboard bow. You heard him. Starboard bow. Uh, you watch as the uh, the orc, the dragonborn, uh, Sorensen slides down the the the, the, uh, the mast there and runs to the starboard bow. Uh, downstairs, you would see Milsa running to the starboard bow. Also, um, she runs past. You would see uh, Cordina kind of putting another card down. Going, oh, interesting. If and I if I heard that, would I be allowed to? Fall, or I'd have to wait for my turn to take my you, move. You can kind of run to the starboard bow yeah. real quick. Yeah, I'll allow it. Those that wish to immediately. A reaction. Uh, yeah. yeah, as a reaction. <laughs> it is. It is a. It is a. I'll say it's a captain's order. You can, as a reaction, obey the captain's order. Essentially, uh, as they run across there, Edarath, what are you doing? Harder to the starboard. Harder to the starboard. Can you roll a, as much weight as I can to the starboard bow to try to get us out of the... Excellent. Uh, can you roll a strength check with advantage for me, an athletics check with advantage for me, uh, and you are going to add... 17. You wrench the wheel, and as you you come up over the edge of the whirlpool and you hit open ocean, uh, the whirlpool behind you, the dragon turtle still swimming around the current, but you have kind of come over the top of the whirlpool there. Uh, you are moving away, no problem at all. Anything else you want to do? Full sail! <laughs> Full sail. <laughs> Little trim extra sails come out. Uh, Azareth. You and Agnar are hot in pursuit <laughs> of the ship. Go. <laughs> I'm sick of this rain. <laughs> I dare you to say, Hian, watch her throw you, you, you off. See, you see the dragon turtle heading towards some glow that burst out from on top of the deck there. What would you, what would you like <laughs> see, to do? I don't know if going Both back is the move at this point. <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll fly on a trajectory course. Uh, to where the ship is going, and like kind of, so as opposed to like coming straight onto where it was. As the Aggie. Where it's sailing, so that. Yeah, okay, I gotcha, I um, gotcha. So it's probably coming away mm-hmm. from the turtle. Excellent. Just kinda, he's, Azareth's just kind of looking back at the this turtle, this yeah. giant. Excellent. Beast. Okay. That is going to bring us down. The dragon turtle is going to. <laughs> oh, amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do, do. <laughs> oh I don't like that. I don't like that shit at all. Oh, I got us out of there. I got us out of there. I mean, let's let's listen to the amount of dice that Jacob is picking up. Right Can I get one more D eight, please? Oh still my god! More. The more. ship only has um sixty, 60, 60 points. Yeah. So oh, shit. and if we hit the water, we'll be uh, bubbling. Vaporized. Uh, no, we are. No, out we did of well the... for you. You're out of the steaming part. Yeah, but, it's but it's does, steam. doesn't it like create it steam? Oh, yeah. Maybe around it. Yeah. So, like, it's, it, it's... 41 points of fire damage to your ship as Jeez. water uh-huh. boils underneath it. It's <laughs> fucking cold. Uh-huh. How is many hit points you got left? Fire? We have uh, 19. We have 19? Yeah, 41, 19 hit points. Okay, beautiful. Uh, as the ship, the, the that timbers start... That wasn't even it. <laughs> that was just it being near us. <laughs> uh, that is three legendary actions to do that. So that's as legendary actions used up for this turn as it pursues you. Uh, excellent. Um, excellent. That's going to bring us down to... I don't know what else to, to do, man. Uh, that's going to bring us down to Sephira. Um, how, how close is it? You can see that it is probably like somewhere between twenty and sixty feet behind you. Like well, that's it. <laughs> no, I don't speak Aquin. Okay. Well, apparently, doesn't understand Aquin. It didn't. Okay. It attacked okay. me. Um. Uh, I'm gonna cast uh minor illusion. Yeah. Here we go. Uh. It's, I can only create it 30 free, feet from us, so, like, right in Excellent. front yeah. of the turtle, mm-hmm. pretty much. Like, 30 feet in front of mm-hmm. its face and behind us, uh, okay. and I'm going to make it... Um, that it that it looks like another ship that's on... Five foot by five foot. Yeah. 
Okay. That's like a, like a little a ship. Little <laughs> <laughs> it's like a lifeboat. Okay. It's like a little ship that's on fire. Can I make it? It's the Captain Jack Sparrow boat. It's a smaller ship than this table. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like it's a lifeboat on fire. It's almost a still image, though, unfortunately. But yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm going to hope that the mm-hmm. light of it. Can I ask what your spell save DC is? 15? With an intelligence check of 11 plus 2. For 13. <laughs> you watch as it swings its head a little bit to the side. Uh, you would hear in... You would hear in Aquan. My turn? No, it's not. <laughs> uh, it is Agnar's turn. I'm flying. You would get over the top of your ship at this point. Uh, at this point, Azareth, uh, uh, with this panic and this stress and the rain and the storm, uh, as uh, Agnar gets towards the ship, roll a real quick concentration check for me. <laughs> yeah, I've been lenient up until now. Definitely. Fair. Uh, as the stress of the circumstances. Just, that's just a concentration save. saving throw. Yeah. 17. Beautiful. You hold that spell as Agnar gets to the ship there. Uh, Agnar, you reach the ship. You and Azareth there. What would you like to do? Land. You land on the ship. The ship looks utterly fucked. (laughs) (laughs) You want out? You want Agnar now? (laughs) It's not my turn, but... What would you like to do, Agnar? Anything in particular? (laughs) Would I be able to drop? You can drop it if you want at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I'll... uh... I'll drop Excellent. concentration. Right. You drop concentration. <sighs> it, it was okay. Good. Okay. Was, okay. Oh, that, yes, that was fucking crazy, but I don't think we're out of it yet, so. No. How badly is the ship like? It doesn't want to talk to you. What's the. At this point, having gotten out of the whirlpool, whirlpool. At this point, you haven't gotten out of the whirlpool, doing pretty good. The ocean seems oddly kind of calm on the outside of the whirlpool, like the rocking oceans were the precursor to this lightning bolt that was the precursor to the whirlpool that was the precursor to the dragon turtle. And now, having lifted out of the whirlpool there, uh, the dragon turtle behind you, the whirlpool is still there. It's not following you. And the dragon turtle is kind of in it at this point. Okay. Oh. But I'm looking at the... We might be able to to save the people if, if the ship is not okay. Um... And Agno's gonna. Everyone's on one side of the ship, or we're on the starboard bow, middle, yeah. except for uh, uh, Force that I believe is. Um, uh, I'm on the port bow. Uh, did we take the 42 points of damage, or just the ship? Just the ship, because oh, okay. it was in the boiling water. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, if we fall in the water. 19 okay. points left <laughs> to your <laughs> ship. I hope you'll have <laughs> many. By the hair on our duty <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Agnes going to run to the to like an open space on the ship. Uh-huh. Uh, and just say... Spons wood everywhere. Um, oh my God. Can you heal the ship? <laughs> probably near the near the mast so people have yeah. something to like hold on to. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And say... Um, uh, anyone who, who, who would like a bit of protection, hopefully, um, come... Come here. Uh, <laughs> Agnar. Uh, and I'm going to hold my action. Agnar always waits for consent for healing as well. <laughs> yep. Uh, hold, my, hold my action, which is going to be magic circle. Uh-huh. For when anybody who's looking like... Anybody or everybody? Or? Everybody who looks like they want to come to the circle. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who's giving is consent. In the circle. Because okay. obviously some people are going to be like, I got to do my job over at the thing. So they can't, can't come. Okay. Yeah. Have you explained, you haven't explained to anyone what the, what the circle's going to do? Uh, I, don't, I don't really know what and the circle's going to do. another real quick question. Check your materials there. Just for future reference. Oh, yeah, that one has a... Uh, I thought if I have a... If I have a spell costume If focus? you still need to, for gold piece value, you still need to have materials... Oh. Or at least gold or something okay, worth that amount. Let me double check that. Oh, holy water. I have powdered silver and iron worth 100 gold pieces. That's the part I mm. don't have. That's what you have to double check hey. when you're going for shop. When I give you shopping opportunities, if you've got components for spells you want to do that have gold piece oh. values. 
Mm. Again, it doesn't have to be the exact things, but powdered if, silver and iron. It doesn't have to be powdered silver and iron. It could be fucking cocaine for all I care, but you need to okay. have spent that money. That's fair. To that sort of stuff. So I can't do that one. Um, but you are there prepping it, and if you pray really hard to Brigandia. <laughs> Yeah. Good okay. Just yeah. Make a real quick snow. religion <laughs> religion check for me. <laughs> fourteen. With a fourteen, you would see up in the storm clouds this brilliant light start to glow over the top of you, and as it starts to split the clouds, you Edarath would notice that the clouds almost <laughs> kind of claw across, trying to blot it out. Ooh. Excellent. Uh, you would notice that too, Agnar. Yep. Uh, That's fair. Excellent. That is going to bring us down to our good friend, a good friend, our good friend, Force. Uh, Force, uh, as you stand there, this creature kind of looking at you, you watch as it reaches the edge of the maelstrom. It kind of stops. It's kind of pulled back a little bit, and it looks out at you, and it says, uh, I'll balance as the ship turns. Force will run up, the, uh, up to the back of the boat yeah. as we sail away, and... Uh, he'll just he'll, he'll say so there is a limit to your power who owns you how do I free you if I free you will you serve me <laughs> <laughs> hey I'm gonna take you out of slavery if you be my slave <laughs> <laughs> you hear you would hear in Aquin once again the rest of you would hear this almost whale song but you would hear in Aquin once again I serve when I'm the clear I wish I had to serve when I'm kind of gets pulled back a little bit into the maelstrom there. Uh, uh, let's see what I can do, friend. Roll a persuasion check for me. Or an animal handling, whichever you think mm, would be better. I'm not, I, don't know, I don't know what my bonuses are, but I'm going to say persuasion. Go for it. That's a two. So plus four, that's a six. With a six, <laughs> it <laughs> blows steam out of its nostrils and it says... Puny cannot help me. Give me time. I will get to your size. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, uh, grower, not a shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Fibbers, what would you like to do? Fibbers runs up behind Force. <laughs> hey, fuck you. And he, he, uh, he pulls... You can he, even walk the plank. <laughs> he, he reaches into his jacket and he pulls back out the squids. The squids reach their tentacles out. You guys don't hear anything, but that is Fibber's turn. Excellent. Is these don't need to pick a save or anything? Tentacles whip he, out they, towards they, you. They, 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 they point out towards the turtle. Oh, Sorry, oh, not, okay. to, not towards Force. Oh, okay. Warriors would look across and go, Fibbers! Fibbers! As you kind of run do, 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 that way. Uh, that is going to bring us around to the dragon turtle's turn. The dragon turtle inhales, <laughs> builds up its breath, and in that same spot that looks like it's kind of blotted out the uh, Brigantia's light, it lifts its head and goes, <gasps> And this steam cone bursts up into the air, hits the uh, the clouds, and they start to billow. And you see a bit of daylight spill through, and it just kind of like a sad dog, kind of sits its chin back down on the water with a thump, and just kind of sinks back back towards the maelstrom and sinks lower and lower. Its eyes never really leaving you. Not thought. sick enough either um, yourself, are you? As the <laughs> As the wave from his chin hits you, the back of your ship, you feel a, a surge uh, as the very, very tender rudder and the rest of the hull kind of groan. They protest as you are pushed on a little bit further. And as you're pushed out of the way of the maelstrom, we're going to leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> Theater of the Mind Playoff. We go live on all good podcast app every Tuesday at what time? I don't know. Do you oh, know? Um, no. Every time? All the time. 2 a.m., 7 p.m. If you like what you heard, leave us a review on whatever podcast app you're listening to. And if you didn't like it, then? Then turn it off and never listen to it again? No. They could turn it on and listen to it again and find something better about it and they actually like it. That works. Hey, reach out to us on Twitter at mindflayer underscore pod and Instagram at Theater of the Mind Flayer.